Well, Mark, it seems a little bit odd to be talking about the snow that isn't here yet, but here we are because Seattle leaders say they have learned their lesson from the storms of 2019 and in 2020, they're going to crack down on people if others cannot walk down the sidewalk. On a typical Seattle winter day, it's tough to see through the broken clouds. Well, this is kind of a nice break, not having to deal with snow. It's cold, though. And a picture of a paralyzed city. It was very exciting. It was very exciting to look out my door and just see a blanket of snow. Yet memories are still fresh of the days when the open roads were closed. When Snowmageddon, a.k.a. Snowpocalypse, brought the city to its knees, or Ooh. rear, so to speak. Those images from last year prompted a stern winter warning today. Shovel your sidewalk. Um, I think one of the things that people don't realize is that's their responsibility. Out Seattle says it will enforce so sidewalk open. statutes this lie. year, saying homeowners and businesses which fail to clear the snow and ice on public pathways could face financial penalties if the wintry residue is left untreated for longer than 12 hours. Seattle's Department of Transportation also says it has crews on standby tonight with round two expected Sunday and a renewed interest in keeping streets open near urban villages and in particular schools. For uh, Seattle Public Schools, it's a all on, all off situation. And e either all schools are going to be open or all schools are going to be closed. Last year, I think it really freaked people out. For now, classes and business are as usual. Although, as we all know, that can change just like the weather. Seattle City Council Member Lisa Herbold said today that the city recently changed it's coding for this type of enforcement and it'll cost businesses 250 bucks after a warning. Individual residents and homeowners, 50 bucks if they do not clean these sidewalks from snow and ice. That's 